Let's have a look at the year break. So year break is used when you are using year return and you want to break your function. So you want to end it early. So we have an example here, which is going to loop through items open until five. And when it reaches number three, what we wanted to do is just end the function. So write this line, stopping early, and then return the control back to the original calling function without actually executing numbers four, five. Now, if you were to do this using year return, what will happen is it will actually execute these two lines, return to the caller, and after this return, it will continue here and then return the same number again. So here are calling a routine. So we're just using a for each loop. So we're calling this function here with year break and one without. So let's see what the difference is between them. So here, what you can see is one with the year break. So let's have a look at this function. So it, this is with year break. So you can see when we hit this line when i is equal to three we just want to print this line and end the function without returning anything so we see received one received two and then it says stopping early and then you can see that's the end of the function so rest of the numbers four or five are not executed but if we have a look at without year break so where we're actually using year return here and your year return here why it's doing is when it gets to number three over here it's taking printing out the statement over here and then that's there and then we are returning that to the calling function and this is received but then it continues from where it left off so that's the last line it executed and when the control came back to this function it continued from here and then did another return statement here which then sent same number back to the caller and then you can see four and five are also executed so you want to use a year break when you want to stop early and not execute the function again as year return will not work in that situation because it will just continue to execute the function afterwards remember to like and subscribe to see more explanations like this